So that's it, I'm here now. That's the point, I'm stuck here. I've embraced Ireland, that's it. People in New York don't know who the fuck I am. Irish people come up to me, my family's in New York, they never fucking heard of you. <laughs> it's like, I know, New Yorkers don't find it funny when an American can do a cork accent. <laughs> You know, I'm stuck here and I'm used to it now, you know. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm used to the Irish women. The American women are the ones I find complicated now. <laughs> you know, there's too much protocol that goes with meeting an American woman. You know, you go to a nightclub, then you gotta get their number, then you call her, then she screens your number, does like an FBI background check on you, <laughs> make sure you're not a terrorist. <laughs> then you go out on a couple of dates, I've made the mistake of asking Irish girls out on dates. Hey, you wanna go on a date? A date? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking date. <laughs> Irish people don't date. We go for a drink. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a date. No! <laughs> All my friends will be there. Be great crack. <laughs> I don't wanna meet your friends. I wanna meet you, I tell you what, why don't you go out with your friends, right, and then text me when you're finished. My favorite text of all, are you awake? <laughs> are you pissed? <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> don't forget the code for the gate. <laughs> oh yeah, Irish people don't date. Irish people go out to the nightclub. Get bleh. <laughs> pissed out of their heads waiting for, come on Eileen to come on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just maul into each other. Irish people don't date, they shift. <laughs> That's the other thing I learned in Wexford, lads. <laughs> and I got to Wexford, and I'll tell you something, Ireland has been liberated sexually.